Here's a simple little experiment we can do to map out what's called the magnetic field. Um, if you hang this particular magnet, say from a string from the ceiling, um, this side here points toward the Arctic, so we'll call that the North Pole of this magnet. Um, and then this side points toward the penguin, so that's the South Pole of that one. If you bring another magnet nearby, um, so this is just a little compass uh, with a skinny little magnet. If you bring it over here, you notice the red side of this points away from the North Pole. Well, with magnets, opposite um, poles attract and like poles repel. So if that's a North Pole, then the side that's repelling or pointing away must be um, also the North Pole. So what we're going to do is draw a little arrow such that the arrowhead is always pointing toward the north pole of this little um, baby magnet that we're going to bring around. So right at this location, what's called the magnetic field points to the left. We'll try a few other places. Um, you notice if I put it up here, it's pointed diagonally away that way. We'll sweep it down. You notice it's always pointing like away from the north pole on this side. Right, well, let's check over on the other side. Again, opposite poles attract, so that north pole, that red side of this magnet is pointed toward the south pole, so that's attracting this way. And then you see as we sweep it down, it just continues to be kind of dialed in, directed at the south pole of the original magnet. Um, so over here, we're pointing in this way. All right. Now, if you go up here, directly above the magnet, you notice that the North Pole is trying to get away from that North Pole while that South Pole is trying to get away from that South Pole. So it's kind of pointed uh, up, up here in the space above, it's pointed this way. Now by symmetry, it's actually going to point the same way down below. So you notice if I sweep this down below, it's going to point that way also. Okay, so it's pointed over to the right. So really notice that all we're doing is we're drawing which direction a little baby magnet would point if we put it in the space around this original magnet. Well, if you do enough of this, what you end up building up is, of course, when you're over here, the magnet wants to point away from that North Pole. And then as you swing it around, it will sweep in that direction and then come back and point into the South Pole. So this thing that I've just drawn here is uh, what's called a magnetic field line. And so what it tells you is, Anywhere along that line, if you were to put a little baby magnet along the line, it tells you which way the baby magnet would point. Um, so over here it's pointing toward the South Pole, over here it's pointing away from the North Pole. Right, so if you build this up after a while, um, what you see is this general pattern of the field lines pointing away from the North Pole and then wrapping around and coming back into the South Pole. Um, so let's take a quick look at that. There's that magnet pointing away from the North Pole wrapping around and back into the South Pole. So what's called the magnetic field is it's defining which direction a little baby magnet would point if you put it nearby or in the space around it. So at this specific location, the magnetic field is to the right, as we can check again with our bar magnet, with our little baby magnet. So, um, so that's how you map a magnetic field around a, around a bar magnet.